I have students that I can teach regular math to, and they're fine with that. But my special need kids and my autistic kids and my Serbian, I can't teach them math like that, but they can learn. And that's what we're going to do here. First thing, we are not a diet program. We are not on a diet. We are learning how to live the rest of our life. So it's a change that's a permanent change. So when you pick your diet or your weight change program, pick one that you can live on and say, I can live with this. You know, this is something I can do not just for a month or six months, but I can, I can live like this. Okay, now I, I know, I'm going to tell you right now, I already know what programs I couldn't go on because there's no way I'm going to drink something twice a day or three times a day and eat one meal. I'm a cook. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I just built this gigantic kitchen and you don't want me to use it? You want me to drink? Okay. So, every little, I went online, I was telling Ursula about this, and I found out online these are doctors that did this from the National uh, U.S. News Best Diets for 2014, Best Weight Loss Programs, that they recommend from heart doctors, diabetic doctors, doctors that treat you for major high blood pressure, stuff that a lot of us have, okay? And these are the approved weight programs. And um, I'll just name you a few. One was um, the DASH was like number one. I never heard of DASH. Mediterranean was number two. I, I never heard of Mediterranean, although I have Mediterranean blood disease, so maybe I need to look into that. <laughs> number three, for a group, they recommended Weight Watchers. Whatever program you decide to go on, make sure it has food. You know, another thing was, we talked about food that was delivered to your home with additives and preservatives and all this kind of stuff in it. Was that healthy? And a lot of the doctors said they did not recommend a lot of the boxed foods. They would rather you learn to eat regular food. God made this earth, and he knew what he was doing. And I didn't see anything grow out of a box or a can. <laughs> I've never found one. I could dig up my whole backyard. But I know that I want what's best for my body because it's the temple of the Holy Spirit. And I want to walk in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Why do we have to go to a doctor before we start a weight program? Well, I'll tell you about Kathy who did not think it was necessary to go and ended up with three strokes. Oh, you didn't know you had high blood pressure? Well, no. Well, you knew you were a diabetic, yep. She knew she had a heart condition, but she did not know that her high blood pressure was off the chart. I begged her to go to a doctor before she started her weight program. She didn't want to hear it. Well, I have a six months checkup of my heart doctor. I have a six months checkup of my diabetics. I'm fine. I know what I'm doing. I don't know. How many of us have diabetes? Raise your hand. How many have low blood sugar? My filming girl has it and I have it. Did you ever hear of low blood sugar? It's called hypoglycemia. It's just as troublesome as high blood sugar. It causes just as much trouble. I cannot do a lot of things or eat a lot of things you can, and I can't just go for hours without eating. I may not be hungry, but I have to put something in my mouth, and it can't be what I think is best. Four things that I went online and checked out, and I've been online for weeks now, weeks and weeks. All right, I started off in a size 20, went to an 18W, went to an 18, went to a 16W, and today I tried on my 16. Now, I say they're a little tight, but my friend said, no, they're not. Okay, well, we'll see if I can sit in them by 6 o'clock. That usually happens. You know how we blow up? All right. 
I have some crackers that I can eat. And Ursula's going to go through this whole thing for you. I can eat these. So I went down and I thought, ooh, these look good. So I went and bought them and I brought them home. And last night, I had some of these. These didn't bother me. These have enough carb for me, and I put my little laughing cow cream cheese on there, and I was happy as a lark. Last night I did it with this cracker. Never read the label, just ate the cracker. So today, see this ring that yesterday I slid off and on? What's wrong with it today? It's too tight. It's too tight. So what do you think might have been in those crackers? Maybe more than carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. carbohydrates and sodium. So, how did I figure out what was causing the problem? Ursula told me to keep a log of what I'm eating. And I'm doing South Beach, so here's my log. Because it comes already prepared. Now, I can change if I don't want salmon today. I could have some other kind of fish, and if I don't want broccoli, I can have some other kind of green. But I don't switch from salmon to a pork chop, although I can have a pork chop, but not as often as I can have my fish. So that's my log, if I stick to it day by day. All right, so yesterday I wanted the crackers, and I wrote down that I had these crackers, here in my uh, written log and that's how I figured out that my ring doesn't fit. So one of the things we're going to ask you to do is one, know what your problem health problems are, find out what your do's and don'ts are on them, get yourself a notebook that hopefully you'll use as your little journal. Now I, I come prepared with bigger things so that you don't care what size you use. I'm just doing this for the visual. Okay? And then put your paper in. You can use regular paper. You don't have to go big on this. It doesn't have to cost you money. And just write down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. When did you start? No one has to weigh you. You weigh yourself. <clears throat> but I will tell you this. On the weeks that I didn't lose pounds, I lost inches. How do I know? I got into the 16s, and a week ago, didn't get into them. Not where I'd walk out the door and wear them. I don't want, and another thing I'm going to say, we have some men here, I'm going to tell you, we're going to be talking about anything, and like I tell my little guys, if I'm talking about sex education and you can't handle it, get up and leave. <laughs> so, we're very mature people. One of the things that happens on a weight program, when you start changing your routine, constipation <sighs> major problem ended up in the hospital with it because I tried these girls can tell you I tried everything a couple years ago and I ended up in the hospital so I had to find out what can I do for my body some of the things that they recommended I tried worked wonderful this even looks pretty. I kept the cup they said to measure in here. It helps you go to the bathroom like you wouldn't believe. Every day regular. But guess what, guys? Carbs. For me, I'm on low carb. Ah, uh, 33? And this little cup with my cereal that had 27? And I'm only allowed 30 a day? Oh, wait, that doesn't add up. That's, I can't even subtract. No, that's wrong. I can't do that, right? I treated those carbs like they were money. And if I don't have enough money, I can't buy it. So if I don't have enough left, I can't eat it. So what am I going to do? I have to find something else. Ursula told me about this. And it has... 25 cards, but nine of them are diet fibers, which you get to subtract. And then it only has four grams of sugar, which she's going to tell you all about that stuff. Because me, it was Greek. 
Say it in Russian. I don't have no clue what you're talking about. And I don't want to learn that stuff. Just tell me what I could eat and what I can't eat. I don't want to learn this stuff. Well, then stay back. So I went and got this. It tasted good. It's chocolate. It helped. Not a lot. Okay, see if you like that. You can pass that around. It's tasty. Yeah, but then I went through my cupboard and I thought, oh, smooth new tea. I went to the bathroom and I drank that tea. Guess what? No carbs. Bingo! Oh, wait, should we say that in church? No, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, smooth new tea. That works for me. One cup of tea in the late afternoon. And I go to the bathroom every day. Okay? Now, if you're the opposite and you have the other end of the diarrhea, let's, you know, figure out what it is that you're eating so that you get the runs and stuff. Figure it out by process of elimination. Does everybody know what process of elimination is? Good. Is that a cereal or is that a yeah, that's snack? a cereal. That? Cereal. Oh, but guess what? Don't eat the whole bowl. Good. Stick it in your yogurt if you're a yogurt person. Where's that other bar? Stick it in your yogurt and use that instead of the higher one.